Congratulations, Stiff. You are the now the Madden NFL 16 champion. Yeah, the clock will just tick, tick away, and Stiff will enjoy the taste of sweet, sweet victory. You can see the emotion, the jubilation. He had no expectations coming into this tournament. There's going to be some expectations on this kid going forward. Absolutely. Look at he He's almost on the verge of tears. He knows how much this means, uh, not just for him, but it, it, for the entire Madden community entirely. Uh, he's putting the entire community on his back. Congratulations to you, Stiff. You're the Madden champion. You deserve it. You deserve it. There he is. Pure joy on the face of Stiff from New Jersey. Just started playing the game three years ago, and he's... What's up? It's your boy, BP, <clears throat> MLG Films, baby. Wanted to go over a problems video he had, basically going, um, breaking down what he deems three styles of play, sim, tournament, and glitch. <clears throat> Didn't disagree with a lot that he said in the video, y'all. And uh, I can't lie, his channel is pretty good. He's got, he's actually got a series now where he's going over the history of tournament style, uh, how money came into Madden, the Madden bus, which is dope. I really like his channel, and I don't disagree with a lot that he said. <clears throat> Only a few things that need to be addressed from that video. One, he said it's not a, sh a shot at sim style gaming. And I think it was a light shot. Uh, he basically said that tournament style gamers would beat some gamers, which, you know, is cool. And he basically said that there's a lot of gray area in sim style rules that are to protect them from things that they are frustrated by and helpless against and they can't stop in the game, which also is not true. Everything else he said is very true. And honestly, the premise of this video is this. I don't think there's three style of gamers. I think there's two. There's people that play for money and people that don't. If you play, if you do not play for money and you try to break the game and find glitches and fullback dives that uh, are programmed incorrectly and hit a little bit too well, if you're running 30 fullback dives a game when the average NFL game runs one or two, if you're doing that and not getting paid, you're a loser. That falls into the top 100 leaderboard, the old school guys who used to just f try to find ways and break the game, but you ain't making no money off of it. You stupid. That's stupid shit. Okay? So... That's the premise of the video. I think there's two styles. People that play for money and people that don't. Now, the sim style, we're going to go over what is the sim style gamer because the biggest part of his video, which I'll put in the description, is the misconception of sim style. Sim style is not the helpless gamer that can't stop shit. We're so frustrated. So what we're going to do is we're going to make all these rules and try to, try to uh, program the game the way that we want it so that we can handle it. And so, because we can't stop a lot of the stuff that these sim ga these tournament and lobby style gamers do, right? So, what's our only defense? Let's make some rules that are subjective. Let's make a huge gray area, and let's just hide behind that. So, let's see what Problem has to say about sim style gamers, first of all. And, um, once again, subscribe to his channel. A sim. What exactly is sim? Simulation style. Alright, and that's my biggest issue with sim. What exactly is it? It's not black and white. There's a gray area. Some people, they defend, okay, you can't go for it on fourth. But in certain spots, they say, okay, you know, you can go for it. I can go for it on fourth in this spot. It should be legal. Now, there's some times where they feel like a play shouldn't be allowed. But here's my thing. If they were able to stop that same play, if I ran a play that got no yards, five straight plays, there wouldn't be an issue. I can guarantee that. If I ran that same play five straight plays and got 20 yards, 20 yards, 20 yards, 20 yards, 20 yards, there's an issue. And that in itself is an issue overall with the sim style. Is plays that are powerful, that are classified as good plays, quote unquote, or cheesy plays, quote unquote, or quote unquote glitchy plays. We don't like that type of stuff. That's the glitchy player. And that's the glitch style of Madden. So there's actually three styles. And the problem that we're having is that for some reason, the glitch style player is being grouped and classified with the tournament player. And it gives tournament players a bad rep. So what he also said is that he would put his money on a tournament and glitch style player over a sim player. <clears throat> True. 
here's what some a sim style gamer is. A sim style gamer is is the guy who loves football, who loves the intricacies of football, who watches football. Someone like me who takes it as far as watching all 22 film, kind of a you know you love real football you want madden to look like real football you want the way it plays and the way it is dictated to look like real football to me that's putting a handicap on your game it's harder to do than finding one or two plays to where they're programmed or they're breaking the game right the rules he spoke about the gray area in sim there is a gray area right our league tries to alleviate it. We go by statistics and we let the league vote. Statistically, problem, you know, in his tournament, he ran fullback dive all game with Rob Gronkowski. That play is programmed to be far too effective. Fullback dive, halfback toss, inside zone, certain runs just hit way too well, right? <clears throat> so fullback dive, if he ran it 30 times, an average NFL game, you can count on half of one hand how many times that play is run if it's run at all so that does not match up to what real football looks like we try to mix in concepts we try to mix in plays we try to police things in the game that are broken certain concepts in the game are broken flat out you know what i'm saying certain routes break coverage break logic yes you could probably run five plays versus someone that were unstoppable like problem said but in real life you couldn't do that because adjustments would be made i guarantee you if you ran five plays that couldn't be stopped on this game, it'd be a programming issue. It'd be a concept that you would never see in real life. You will never, there's not one play on this game that has a slot streak outside post, and you'll never see it in real football. The reason why you won't see it is because it's not run. They're technically kind of running into each other. But on this game, it's a clear out option for a wide open post touchdown, right? So what we're trying to do is alleviate all of that right so in real football would three linemen ever run a stunt so crazy that they would come untouched you know a quarter of the game up the a gap regardless of the stunt no that's a nano right so nanos although you could slide protect you should not have to slide protecting is when you're bringing an overload or if you're bringing two people up the a gap but the numbers are still there three do not beat five like that it's just a fact. So the gray area is really not is is completely overstated, and we're there aren't many things in the sim world that we cannot stop or adjust because of the way that we set our rules up. We want it to reflect real football. We want plays to be mixed in. We want concepts to be mixed in. We really don't enjoy going in and finding plays to break the game. Nor do we go <laughs> enjoy going to YouTube to find them, which nowadays they're not hard to find at all. It's harder to find 10 original concepts on the game that work and put and blend them in and make them look like real football than it is to go to YouTube for 10 minutes, find some nanos, and find a few plays that are overpowered unrealistically, that are programmed poorly, that just hit way too well more than on a percentage than you would in real life. That's basically what sim football is. It is harder to play sim football than it is the opposite. You have to, you would argue in tournament style, you do have to put in the hours to find these plays. But in 2016, you don't have to. It, I had respect for the old tournament style player, the old glitch gamer. You had to find your own shit. You'd match up with someone in the top 100 and you'd be in trouble. You'd see shit you'd never seen before. Everything's on YouTube now. Everything's being streamed now. Tournaments are being streamed. Last play is being shown. I don't really think it's hard to play tournament style. So it begs the question, what is a tournament style gamer? Uh, as opposed to a glitch gamer. Okay, so on to tournament players. Tournament style, what is that? So tournament style has their own set of rules as well. Except, in my opinion, it's more black and white. It is more black and white. He's 100% correct. It's easy to be black and white when you have like three rules. It doesn't protect... it. The game for a tournament style gamer does not look like a sim game still. Your rules are basically to punt on fourth downs, and there's not a gray area, subjective part of the field where you have to do it. Great. And <clears throat> other than that, there's really not much else aside from blocking punts or field goals, which, I mean, that those if you have two or three rules, it does nothing for the game. Like the tournament style gamer would like to think that they are better than the glitch gamer, but from a sim perspective, it's the same shit. The game still doesn't look like real football. It doesn't look like sim football. And it's not subjective because you could turn on a football game or do the numbers on the shit that's being run. You know, jump balls are not thrown half the game in the NFL. Glitch and sim are both trying to prey on, you know, kind of the flaws of the game and the programming and what just works on the game. 
So we'll get into the third part, which he said there's three. And what is a glitch or what is a glitch style player? But we are not glitch players. Those are there's three different types. Sim guys, hey, shout out to the sim guys. Tournament guys, that's myself and other tournament players. And then you got the fuck boys who are the glitch style. All right, that's not us. Separate the, the three styles, and we'll, it'll make the world a better place, the Madden community a better place. And again, there's. So it makes the tournament style player feel better to say that he's not a glitch player. I'm not glitching the game. I'm not breaking the game. Well, you are, and for money, you should. There is no difference. <clears throat> From a sim perspective, we view it as all the same. Right? So completely disagree basically problem is saying that he is a tournament style player along with other players that they are superior players to sim players as far as if they matched up because they handle what's wrong with the game better than the sim player does and also that they're better than a glitch style gamer glitch style gamer who goes in and tries to break the game a tournament style player is breaking the game too like Stiffmeister and a lot of other people, I didn't see a lot of glitchy shit from their play other than some nanos, which, you know, two or three people beating five, that's some bullshit, that's not sim. But at least there were some not really original concepts, but I think it looked like a fucking clown show to be running fullback dive with Ron, Rob Gronkowski and then to make a video saying I'm not a glitch gamer and we could beat a sim gamer. You know, you're not going to see like in this play here, a D lineman that you start to rush, try to drop back to the comeback. That shit doesn't happen. So we can argue all day. Is it is there a gray area in sim? Yes, there is. Is it big? Absolutely not. For you to tell me it's subjective for me to say that you have to rush three linemen on every play and mix in your plays and concepts, that is you watch any NFL game and tell me if you see anything different than that. So we, there's nothing to debate there at all. But I don't think that the tournament style gamer is any different from the glitch style gamer. I think it's the same thing. And it goes back to the original premise. You've got two style of gamers. You've got people that play for money and people that don't. Next year, they're going to have a Madden tournament for a million dollars, right? You're going to see a lot of sim people resort to st shit that they do not want to do which will not be enjoyable for them to do which they really have no vested interest in when i go and buy the game i buy it for cfm and sim football but for a million dollars shit one is not better than the other sim is not better than these guys it just depends on what what you want out of the game and what you get out of the game and for a million dollars shit i'll gladly entertain as we see it stooping to the level of trying to break the game make no mistake about it we know we're breaking the we know we'd be breaking the game and we'd know that that's not what we initially want to do you know what i'm saying last last point here do tournament players find anything in the game to give them an edge yes as long as it is in within the rules will we send a blitz at you and come a gap and b gap and if you can't stop it we're still going to send it yes as long as that's within the rules. Now, and this is not an attack on sim players or anyone in particular. I don't want to make it come off as that either. I respect the sim guys. Hell, I, I wish they threw a sim tournament. I wish they threw a sim tournament. Let's play it. You know who would win that tournament? I'll let you guys decide for yourself. I know where my money's at. Yeah, you would win the tournament because you're, you're playing with the gloves off. We play with the gloves on. Let's put it that way. Could we play with the gloves off? Sure. Would we enjoy it? No. Will we for a million dollars? Yes. Would it be fun? No. So one is not better than the other. It's money. people that play for money and people that don't. And half the time, what you buy the game for is what you buy the game for. I buy it for Sim and CFM. Some people buy it to try to break, break the game. Hey, one is not better than the other. Not at all. And like he said, the tournament style gamer just needs to <laughs> come to the realization that they are truly in the money category, the glitch category. And it is what it is. You said that you could, you guys do whatever it is as long as it's in the rules. Tournament style players, you have three rules. It's, it's almost like not even having them, right? So you, it's the same thing to us. So I hope that that kind of bridges the gap of all three. I think there's two style of gamers. Buy the game for what you want to buy it for. Madden heads, football heads, we will continue to buy it for Sim Clean C CFM football. I'm out.